my name is Dr. Gopal. I'm a country manager for Malaysia. Today, uh, I'm in uh, Taiping War Cemetery, which is a uh, three and a half hours drive uh, from main city Kuala Lumpur to get uh, to uh, Taiping War Cemetery. Our cemetery uh, was built in uh, 1947. Um, and for the next few days, I'll be here. Here uh, we have about 867 of uh, soldiers who died in uh, World War II. Uh, Taiping War Cemetery actually is about uh, uh, two kilometers from the main town of Taiping itself, and then uh, it's just uh, exactly in uh, Jalan Bukit Larut in Taiping. I'm now in a Muslim section cemetery in Taiping War Cemetery. Uh, as you can look around. Uh, most of the army died here is an, an Indian soldier. The biggest challenges that we are facing in uh, Taiping War Cemetery is animal attack. Number two is weather. Animal attack. Uh, wild boar. Uh, mainly uh, uh, wild boar has been attacking our plants and then our shrubs quite some time. And uh, we are trying our best to minimize the attack uh, of the wild ball and also the second challenges the biggest challenges the second uh, is uh, heavy heavy rainfall actually um, as you as you know uh, the wettest area in Malaysia is Taiping so uh, we're receiving uh, quite a lot of rain uh, per year in Taiping itself uh. so uh, it looks like the raining is going to be rain in a while, so today I'm in a Chirasok Cemetery. Chirasok Cemetery is strategically located 10 minutes from the main city. As you can see behind, it's my office for Malaysia and I base here. And we are actually um, next to the main road and also um, we have a light railway is going. Uh, next to our cemetery. These are the interesting eight, eight stones of uh, Air Force in Chiras Road Cemetery. Here are the stories. The crew had taken off from their base on August 1945 at Brown's West Island, which is around 1,000 kilometers south of Sumatra in the Indian Ocean. Sadly, KL-654 never returned and is believed crashed into dense jungle at Telapak Buruk Mountain at Negusman with no survivors. This has been discovered lately and were permanently laid to rest on October 2012 in burial service with full military honours at Chiras Road Cemetery. And then uh, in Chiras Road Cemetery we have uh, two full-time staff. Yes, Ghana and Shobus working here. Uh, today uh, I'm at Saraban Gurkha Cemetery. Let's go in. Saraban Gurkha Cemetery uh, actually is one of the biggest MOD sites, uh, one of the biggest MOD sites in Malaysia. Uh, this is my very first uh, project when I, when I was joined. Um, Commission three and a half years ago. Uh, Salaman Gurkha Cemetery actually is located an hour from the main city of Kuala Lumpur um, and it consists of uh, 169 headstones uh, buried. All of them are Gurkhas. As you can see, uh, this is a newly renovated Salaman Gurkha Cemetery. We started the project on uh, November 2015 and then uh, we have completed the project on um, February 2016. I take pride in completing one of the biggest MOD sites in Malaysia. Hereby, um, I would like to thank the APAC team for the opportunity and guidance rendered along the way. And yes, uh, I would say I'm very proud to work with CWGC. Thank you.